Namaste Dosto. So, yet again, another full night's sleep. We're looking seven and a half, eight hours this time. What's going on, ya? Yeah? Is this how it is in the real world? Okay. But that brings me to the job in hand, if you'll pardon the phrase, because I am dilating as we speak. When I start off, it's so tight. This morning was 2 minutes 26 to get past that pelvic band. We're giving it that. We're back off and in, giving it that. Stretching it all out there. So, you think that was a problem? I really know. 2 minutes 26 and we're past. Once we're past, we can side on in, we can work it, start stretching and get down to our depth. We get down to depth and then we're trying lifting, lowering, left and right, all directions, trying to keep the dilator straight rather than just waggling like that. Because it, it, if we do that, that pelvic band ain't going to change at all because we're just using it as a pivot. So we're trying to push it and stretch it in every direction. So I do that 15, 20 minutes later and I'm so loose. It's like a throwing a sausage in the back of a big empty van. It's ridiculous. If I move wrong or sneeze or cough, the dilator will just come out. Uh, it's like I could do with a bigger dilator, you know what I mean? A bit more girth. I just found it so crazy. The ones were loosened up, that's that. So, that's the situation we got at the moment. We got these long sleeps. We got our estrogen gel, then a long sleep. Hard work getting going. And then once we get going, we're away. Slip and slide. <laughs> so, we'll just see how things go with that. And also, while I'm on, I'm no longer in Mumbai, but I've had requests to carry on with these vlogs. That being the case, I don't mind. I'm quite happy to ramble on about my day to y'all. The thing is, at the moment, all I can tell you is I'm dilating. I'm having a bath. I'm dilating. I'm having a bath. I put a shingel in. Oh, I had a sleep. Oh, I had a poo. I don't know what to tell you. We're, we're in the mundane, normal life phase at the moment. So, I think this is a good opportunity for questions and answers. Ask me stuff. Put something below in the comments. Ask me a question. It doesn't have to do with this surgery. It could be anything to do with my transition. It could be anything at all. What's my favourite colour? You don't even know. So, any questions at all. Get them in the comments and I'll tackle them in video for you. I, I don't know what else to say. It's either that or you're in for another 20 videos of Dilate Bath, Dilate Bath. It's your choice. Okay, so I'm in the outside. Well, I'm in the car. Uh, we've been to the doctors to take all my paperwork from Reliance Hospital to be scanned onto my records. And while we're out, I went to see my mother and that was fantastic i got there and my niece was there with my grand nieces it was so lovely to see everyone we couldn't have planned it if we tried it was just purely coincidental it was fantastic and then from there we went to see my granddaughter and my grandson oh what an amazing day well now so, we reached the end of another day. I'm still waiting for you to put in the comments 
what sort of things you want in these videos if you wanted to carry on. So, in lieu of that, let's start with a little history. I became self-aware at two years old. I became gender aware at three. I noticed something between my legs that hadn't been there before I'm sure. I tried pushing it back in, it kept coming back out again. There's nothing I could do with it. I figured out a way where I could kind of half push it in, half tuck it out the way and sort of cross my legs and keep it there while I played my toys. Then my little sister was born. I saw my mommy bathing her. That's when I realised that thing between my legs was completely wrong because I'm a girl and that thing shouldn't be there. But I was powerful afraid of being in trouble because I thought I'd done something wrong. Remember, it's three-year-old logic here. I'd obviously done something to make this thing appear and I'd be in terrible trouble. I'd better keep quiet. Shh. And so, at age three, I learned shame. So, I can carry on with this stuff or put in the comments what do you want me to talk about? Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.